Hey, Jamie from Fuel Moto here today to talk about exhaust systems, specifically mufflers and baffles and exhaust inserts. It's a really popular topic we get here that we talk with customers on every day. And, uh, and, and really the effects on what the baffle does to the combination along with inserts and tuning and, and, and kind, of, kind of some of that. But uh, first thing I want to do is talk about uh, kind of the, the conventional types of baffles, most mufflers and two in one systems are going to have. You really have two types. You're going to have a perforated baffle like this. That's going to be uh, basically a series of holes, and uh, these can come in various sizes depending on the cat application, the brand, the exhaust, and such. Um, you know, anywhere from you know somewhere down an inch and a half, inch and three quarters, all the way up to three inch or, or bigger on some of them. Some of them have a taper, some have a step in them. Uh, the second type is going to be the louvered baffle, and this uh, can be identified like we identify our customers. It's like a cheese grater. So. So the, uh, the, baffle ha the baffle has a louvered pattern, and again, these can be all different sizes, steps, they can have a, a lot of different uh, elements to them. Uh, this, they sound a little different. The, the perforated baffle is gonna be a bit of a muffle, deeper tone maybe, um, a lot of lower frequencies, where the louvered baffle traditionally has more of your, um, what we like to call like like a growl, or uh, it's a lot of people associate with the Reinhardt sound that uh, that they kind of introduced uh, a long time ago into the Harley world. Um, so that's that's a popular option there. Um, we use in our exhausts, we use a combination of both, depending on the pipe application, muffler, whatever, um, and and if whether it's a two into one or a slip on. So uh, we do a little bit of each of it. Um, the the most popular thing that's came up lately is the inserts the. The tuning and that part, and it's a, uh, and I'm gonna really talk about a lot. Um, and so, so essentially, uh, I mean, there's no real laws to what you can and can't do um, on these exhaust systems, and there's no blanket statements to what does and doesn't work really. Um, you know, essentially, you know, looking at the big picture, you know, really every for every build or engine or combination, you know, you really should build a custom exhaust system. You know that to see what the, what the motor wants, give it what it wants and what it needs to, to make the best power and the best curve and the best sound you want. But we all know that isn't realistic. So what we do is we, you know, the manufacturers, including us, we make an exhaust system that that we feel is going to work about the best for a given application, and we do that. And along with that, a lot of times we have optional baffles, end caps, inserts, and things that go along with it. So. Um, uh, there's some baffles, some companies that are on the market now. They're doing some stuff that's kind of unique, um, where they call it a baffle. It's not really a baffle. It's a solid pipe. So instead of having a louvered or perf core, it has a solid piece of material. And uh, them are generally, I mean, what we kind of call uh, noisemakers. So um, and a lot of that is um, really for sound. It's they do it in, you know, even the, they name a lot of the stuff the same way. So. Um, right or wrong, I mean it's here to stay and we, we are here to help get that stuff tuned in. So that's where we come in with a lot of inserts and different designs and things that we try to help incorporate into some of these other brands. Um, you know, essentially some of these baffles that are out there, they're essentially a, you know, a, a straight piece of pipe that's the same as literally clamping a, you know, a 30 inch piece of pipe to the back of your, to the back of your head pipe and run drag pipe is really what it does with the effects of the engine. So, but with that. Um, whether you're using that or conventional baffles or you know whether it's a, a set of mufflers or two into one um, kind of a wide statement is, is what we're doing with baffles of these different baffle inserts rather of these different sorts is we are trying to maintain velocity uh, post collector and also uh, eliminate or reduce reversion the best we can can accommodate with with this you know you know the baffle inserts and baffles themselves i mean a lot of stuff is a compromise one way or the other uh, there's no again there's no 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 real blanket statement of what a motor wants what you have to give it it's what the motor needs it's going to tell you what what it wants and whether that's a seat of the pants running it down the road you know or whether on the dyno and a lot of that really comes down to that to that you know 2500 to 3500 range that's really where a lot of the stuff comes into play because that's where reversion really plays a huge part of how the exhaust system functions and 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 how how effective the collector the mufflers and, and the rest of the combinations and of course that changes by by uh, not only the tune but the exhaust system design the camshaft especially the amount of overlap and you know exhaust duration on a cam plays a huge part of that and and we're trying to make everything kind of come together with making the exhaust happy so so I'm going to go over kind of some of the designs of the inserts that that are common to 
to try to alleviate some of the the big dips in the dyno curves and the big the big bog when you hit the throttle that you can't tune out and and a lot of that that we work through literally every day all day we have customers and our staff is you know trying to to fix not only things in tunes but also deficiencies in exhaust systems and in designs and you know and you know again the blanket statement is there's no one size fits all you know a pipe that works on a on a stock engine not necessarily going to work on a motor that has 150 horsepower and vice versa so we try to make we try to build in as much flexibility into our exhaust pipes with the use of different baffles inserts different collectors and things like you know interchange such like that like like this collector here this is a for for a new pipe we have coming out this is a three inch collector on it so so that's not something that we would generally put on a stock engine but but even through the use of baffle and and inserts and, and things like that we can make that stuff work pretty good in some of the lighter applications where as you know as you get up there in horsepower you know we got this pipe on 200 horsepower engines that that it, that's where it really shines so uh, but that's just uh, kind of what we what we like to do. But so the first type of insert we do, this is our most common insert we use. We use this, these are this is actually an insert of one of our jackpot RTX mufflers. Um, these inserts ship in both mufflers, and and how that works, it's a we call it a secondary insert. So so say the muffler has a, a perf core like that does. This is essentially going to go in the back of the muffler and into part of the baffle. And what that does, it helps reversion, and it also will cut the sound down. So what it's going to do, it's going to it's going to quiet the muffler a little bit, but it's really going to help that reversion, which in turn, in reality, really helps that again that low RPM power, when, especially when it's when it's ramping up, when it's coming up on peak torque, uh, that's really where the insert is going to really help accommodate getting better velocity, uh, less reversion in the exhaust there, and uh, and it's you know the the cool thing about these inserts, like say you got a set of mufflers, whether it's our mufflers, SNSs, or some of the other ones that come with with inserts in them. Um, you know, you can accommodate like a like a stock bike with a catalyst. In most cases, we're going to say pull these out because you have a catalyst that's going to suppress, you know, some of the some of the um, we like to say back pressure in a way that people understand it. But it's really velocity and reversion. The the, the catalyst helps with that. Where you know, in that application, like say if you have a stock bike with a, with a catalyst and our mufflers, we would typically take these out. But if you have a a bike uh, that's that's uh, free flow header pipe, no catalyst in it. You're generally going to want both of these. There's a lot of applications where we would typically run uh, maybe one of these on the right hand side. We call them tunable because you can take them out independently. I mean, you can even cut them off or shorten them. Like this one here, you can see it's a version of that that's shorter. So, you know, how we have here, we have, I mean, when I tune a bike, our part of our tuning here isn't just. You know, when we dyno tune a bike, it isn't just run it and go through the tune and, and call it good. Like we, if we see a dip or it does something that is not completely normal, we will, you know, shut the bike off, go grab an insert or something. And, and a lot of that stuff we've learned over 25, 30 years of tuning motorcycles that we know, we kind of learn what the engines want and give it what they need. So so a lot of times we'll you go back in and not even just tune the FI, we'll be tuning the exhaust system as well. and. You know some of the stuff we worked with over the years, the like our E-series exhaust, the diffuser discs, that gives another complete level of tunability beyond just you know what the ECU and the what the tune is going to deliver. So um, this is a real popular insert. All of our jackpot mufflers come with this. Uh, these are really nice. Like I said, you can you can pull one out independently, use two. A lot of the high horsepower M8 stuff, uh, we may just leave the right insert in. And I mean, we a lot of our builds we do with our triple X head pipe, for example. We have a 128, 132. Those might make you know 100 and 155 to 165 horsepower, and we still leave one uh, one insert in. It's the right insert, and that that really lends well to the power curve and the way that the the bike is balanced. Um, on a step further, we have uh, we, what we call our six inch tunable insert. This is a uh, it fits into a two and a half inch baffle. There's a lot of companies make different parts like this, but this is just an example of one we do. Um, this one is really popular for us for Reinhardt mufflers. We do a ton of these. Every bike that comes in with Reinhardt for an M8 gets a set of these, and uh, they work phenomenal, especially on the on the big builds and you know a cam like like the Player XD cam or an SNS 475, something that has a lot of exhaust duration on. These really really help with reversion and bringing up that bottom end. Uh, power on the curve as it comes up on peak torque. Uh, the other unique feature about these, they have a, an adjustable flap in here where you can actually physically adjust these things to, to set the amount of flow that goes through the muffler. You find that most of the inserts work the best when they're in the back of the muffler. I know there's a couple of companies that make stuff that they say put it up at the 
at the uh, front leading edge of the muffler at the collector. Uh, we found over the years that is not, <laughs> not a solution that really works well. Maybe they've tested some stuff in some other applications, but in the stuff we generally work with day to day, we found that is not the place to put it. Most, um, most applications really like the insert in the back of the muffler. So you have the volume of the muffler, but then you have that that insert in the back that helps with the reversion and keeps cut that off kind of there. But um, these are really popular. We use these, these work really good and, and really anything that has a two and a half inch baffle um, and, and they could be modified and used in other stuff too. But um, just as a kind of a general statement is, is we like these in the Reinhardt's and a lot of the other stuff, the Bassani, some other stuff that have the two and a half inch core, Louvre to Perf, you can slide it in, you can adjust it. And, and you can, there's multiple ways you can even attach this in without even taking the muffler apart. We have videos on that as well. Um, here's another example of uh, of a um, louvered core insert that fits in the back. This is this is a, a, a lot of SNS mufflers use a insert like this. This is really nice, and this is really doesn't make a lot of difference versus our standard insert we use here as far as what it does. Uh, we find some applications a louvered style insert like this makes a little different sound. So it's really going to come down if you have a perf core or a louvered core, and you know what the sound you're looking for there. Um, another insert that we do, and this is a real simple, really simple, and this is old school here. This is what we call a lollipop uh, diffuser. Um, I call them lollipop baffles. So uh, this is derived actually, uh, as far as we know, we know some people like Bobby Wood, uh, who's old school drag racer guy. Um, a lot of people have used these back in the 60s. So they used to use these on, on, on car zoomies and things so they can make some of their stuff kind of streetable and, and they would really help the motors down low. So what this, what this will go in, a lot of people have used these in drag pipes over the years. So instead of putting a baffle in it, they'd use this. And essentially what this does, the same thing as any of these other inserts. This is there to help reversion and, and help the increase of velocity through the exhaust system and get that exhaust out of the motor. So how these work, again, we use these, these is what, the, this lollipop is what we like to use in like old school Reinhardt's, like all that true dual stuff from you know the 2000s and, and through there, twin cams, twin cam mufflers, they're three and a half and four inch mufflers, these work really, really good in those. So uh, how these mount, it would be in the back of the muffler, it's just gonna, you'd pull the baffle out, drill a hole, and essentially, you know, it'll, it'll help the reversion there. And you would like to get it a few inches back, and, and the cool thing with these, you can adjust them how you want. And there's different sizes and different lollipops, a handful of companies make these things, including ourselves. Um, you can make them yourself on our website. We even have uh, uh, the sizes of the stuff that this, the parts that it takes to make these. So you know, if you got a, if you have a, you know, a three-inch baffle, you probably want to use a, ours is like an inch and a half inch disc on here diffuser. You know, if you got a three inch, you probably want a little bit bigger. Uh, there's definitely different ways you can do these, and and that's just a, a, another cool way that you can do that. But you know, through the through the different types of baffles and designs, it's really cool that you can you can make them work really well in a lot of applications without having to, you know, buy a different exhaust system and, or, or, you know, replace a muffler or replace an entire baffle. You can, and a lot of times you can make this stuff yourself. You got pieces and parts. That's how we do it here. Like there's no, again, there is no wide statement on what and what doesn't work and what does. It's just all you can do is, is try and test it. And that's what we do here on the dyno every day for, for decades. So, I uh, just wanted to share some of that information with you guys. Thank you very much for, for tuning in and uh, check us out at fuelmotorusa.com.